Hi guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy. Welcome to day 8 of 100 days 100 concepts and today in this video we'll discuss about EMF series and cell potentials. So basically what is this EMF series? So usually we all know that any metal or any element will undergo either oxidation or reduction. Right? So let me take you know uh, a metal A which is getting oxidized what is oxidation removal of electron so in this particular case one electron has been removed out and i got a plus ion metal ion okay so there is some kind of electromotive force that is associated with this particular reaction which is basically measured in terms of voltages okay right so usually this emf series which we are interested to study is st standard reduction potential so these are basically made with the use of standard reduction potentials okay of uh, different metals so for this particular case let's say this is an oxidation reaction so it is the voltage which we get from this particular reaction which is associated with react with this reaction will give you my oxidation potential whereas let me take you know the reverse reaction of the same this will give me reduction potential okay now what is the standard so before going to that i just want to tell you how these are basically calculated okay so we have we some we uh, have something called as standard half cells okay standard half cell so if you see let me take this particular reaction only this is not a complete reaction okay this electron over here should come from this particular thing but where is it going it should react with some other thing so let me take um, you know some b plus e minus okay i mean sorry this electron which is reacting with this ion is coming from something else which is giving from my this particular reaction so these are two different individual half reactions which on combination gives me the overall reaction so if you just try to add it the overall reaction in this particular case will be what my electrons on either side will be getting cancelled and my overall reaction is a plus plus b is giving rise to b plus plus a okay this is my overall cell overall reaction and the voltage the overall voltage which is giving me this particular reaction is called my overall cell potential okay so i just uh, told this in order to tell you that the half reactions are not sufficient in order to study so for that reason we usually use one thing called as standard hydrogen electrode okay so this particular thing has zero volt okay so how the standard half potentials how the standard half cells are connected to this particular you know a standard hydrogen electrode in order to measure because we are taking this hydrogen electrode to be the reference okay so uh, let me take something like this hydrogen is here at zero volt again remember all these are reduction reactions so we are also making my emf series in with the use of reduction potentials only okay so we have different stuff so i'm not writing the series okay but we have different uh, you know uh, things over here there if you just go above i have positive reduction potential right positive reduction potential and if you come on this side let me take negative reduction potential okay so here you can simply see if my potential is positive that means the half cell reaction is feasible enough so if you are you know moving uh, on the upward direction these will become increasingly increasingly uh, noble or inert increasingly inert which we call cathodic 
कि यूजली इफ माई रिडक्शन रिएक्शन इज टेकिंग प्लेस देन वी यूजली से इट इज ए कैथोडिक रिएक्शन और द इलेक्ट्रोड एट विच माई रिडक्शन इज टेकिंग प्लेस इज यूजली कॉल्ड ए कैथोड सिमिलरली ऑन कमिंग ऑन डाउनवर्ड्स दिस विल बी इंक्रीजिंगली एक्टिव दैट मीन्स दिस विल बी यू नो इन्वॉल्व इन ए रिएक्शन ओके एंड दीज आर बेसिकली एनोडिक इन नेचर एंड द इलेक्ट्रोड वेयर दिस एनोडिक रिएक्शंस are taking place are called anode so usually at anode you have oxidation reactions why because in the bottom side what you have you have negative reduction potentials so what is opposite to reduction potentials it is oxidation so oxidation will take place at the anode and cathodic reaction that means reduction will take place at a cathode right now how to calculate these particular cell potentials so basically uh, the same reactions i'll be taking okay So I took a plus plus electron gives rise to a, and what is the other thing that we get? B gives rise to b plus plus electron. Right? This is this is the equation which we got. So let's say this has a cell potential e one. This has a cell potential e two. Of course, as I said, standard. So I'll be taking e one not and e two not. So what standard means is standard state in this particular you know uh, electrochemistry defines. when you have one molar solution that means one molar concentration of ions should be present in the solution which is nothing but your electrolyte and you must use pure metal as an electrode okay so this is the basically nothing but your standard state right i assumed it to be standard over here so my overall reaction so what will be my overall reaction this will be cancelled A plus plus B gives rise to B plus plus A, and here in this particular case, delta E. Let me write delta E, or I can also write E cell because this is a complete cell now. So E cell will be what? E cell will be E one naught plus E two naught. It's that simple. Okay. So here, if you see, what is A here? A is actually undergoing reduction. So we took A E one naught. similarly b is undergoing oxidation but even then we have to consider only reduction potentials remember if you are considering some oxidation potentials then again the sign conventions will be a confusion okay so always remember it's better to stick with reduction potentials only whatever direct whatever reactions you do better what you can do is you can just you know change your um, signs if uh, if you are just interchanging the forward to backward reaction that's it now this is how uh, this is also denoted by e not cell because it's also a standard cell it's also in its standard state right now how can we calculate if we are not having a standard cell if you are not having standard half cells in that case that means my concentration is not one molar and my electrodes may be not pure metals okay these are non standard so in this particular case i will be using my nernst equation so nernst equation usually gives me e equal to e not minus rt by nf into ln of products by reactants okay so in the previous videos also i actually mentioned this particular you know uh, equation where E not is my standard cell potential. R is universal gas constant. T is the temperature. N is the number of electrons that are transferred. Okay, in the above reactions, as you can see, we only have one electron over here, so N is equal to one. And F is my Faraday's constant. Okay, and the products and reactions, as you can see, these are nothing but the activities or concentrations. Okay, of the product side and the reactant side. right so here uh, what you will be getting let's say uh, at room temperature Let, let's take at room temperature t is what 298 kelvin and also i'm trying to convert this ln into log that means i have to multiply by 2.303 and you uh, implement you put in the known equations like r you know 8.314 f you know 96500 so putting all those you will get e equal to e not minus 0.059 by n log products by reactants okay this is a short form at room temperature 
right? So this is what is my Nernst equation. One more question, sir, how can we decide if uh, both are on the same side? Let's say both are anodic in nature, okay? So let, that means what I meant is, let's say this is hydrogen with zero volt, right? This is positive on this side and this is negative on this side, okay? So let's say I have zinc somewhere here and I have copper somewhere here. Um, let's take this is, you know, minus one, this is minus 0 0.5 okay uh, these are not correct values okay these are just some random arbitrary values which i took for explanation sake okay so which will act as an anode and which will act as a cathode so basically what we know here we are dealing with reduction potentials correct so you can say that whichever has least reduction potential okay least reduction potential will act as an anode as compared to the other one okay here we are talking in relative terms so here which is least minus 1 is least or minus 0 0.5 is least obviously minus 1 is least so this particular thing is least um, you know prone to reduction that means this is having less least reduction potential so this will be my anode similarly what will this be my cathode so here we are talking about relative terms so you have to remember even if both are on the negative side okay of the emf series you have to consider such that you must know if these two are coupled if zinc and copper are involved in my electrochemical cell then which will be taking place i mean which is acting as an anode and which is acting as a cathode and uh, effectively what we can say which is getting oxidized and which is getting reduced right so i hope you understood uh, you got a clear cut idea about emf series and cell potentials i know that in 10 minutes we cannot cover the uh, entire thing so if you are interested to join us if you are interested to take our courses you can always visit our website okay which is linked over here and also for one of the best and most affordable test series is available with us so please go check out and if you are interested feel free to contact us so thank you guys thank you for watching we'll meet you tomorrow with one more interesting concept right so please hit the like button if you uh, like this video and the concept also share it with all gate metallurgy aspirants meet you tomorrow guys thank you